Shalom, shalom, my friends. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Seeds of Love. I am the Love Ambassador. For the ones who don't know me, my name is Monica. I have a quick word for myself and for you guys also from the Holy Spirit. So, he's been asking me to post for a couple of days already. And I had to obviously obey, so I'm here today. And, you know, the word that he wants me to share is basically, it's a word of encouragement about being discouraged. <laughs> about being discouraged, about being dismayed, about being just tired, right? Of, of our challenges, our daily challenges. You know, if it's not ourselves, maybe it's a family member. It could be a brother. It could be a, a child. It could be a co-worker. It could be so many things that we go through every single day right um it could be something financial it could be health issues it could be um a bad breakup so many things <laughs> that this life throws at us every single day and if we don't get prepared like every single morning if we don't you know put on our our, our armor of god if we don't you know do the work with god if we don't have a relationship with the lord it's gonna like take us it's really really hard and the only reason why the lord really says don't be discouraged don't be afraid don't be dismayed is because he's with us he says because i'm with you so how does that look like okay he's with us and because he's invisible <laughs> sometimes it's hard Sometimes it's hard to to remember that he's with us. And what does that mean? I mean, how does that look like? He's with us and? Well, well, let's think about it. He's with us. He's with me. He's here right now. He's there right now where you're at right now at this moment, right? Which means we're not alone, okay? When we think we're alone because sometimes we feel so lonely. We get depressed we're afraid because we think we're alone we think we have no one to help us yet he left us the amazing holy spirit who lives inside us inside of us to help us in every situation and the only thing he asks for us is to have faith to believe in him and to call upon him which means is to ask to ask for his favor to ask for help and one of my favorite prayers is simply just saying lord help me lord help me that's one of my favorite prayers it could be as simple as that lord please just send send an angel right now to to help me and the thing is that we're used to sometimes you know trying to fix our situations trying to control our situations trying to figure out how we're going to figure out things out <laughs> how we're going to get things done and we get exhausted and then the people around us with their problems right which is sometimes even a lot worse than ours and if you're someone like me who's always there to listen to help others to give a word of encouragement that takes your energy away because it's like oh, so much right so obviously we have to guard ourselves also um so our energy won't be taken away like that because we need energy for ourselves and to continue to give to others so holy spirit he's our best friend I've said it here before, he's our helper, he's our everything. We have to call upon him and understand that Papa, Papa God has a great, good, amazing plan for us. If we just learn how to wait in him and trust in him because his plans are always gonna be good and perfect. Even though we don't understand it, even though we might not like it at the moment, his plans are good and perfect. So if we surrender 
every single day because it's a daily daily thing just the way it's daily challenges daily battles battles it's the same way day it's the same way we must surrender daily you know just surrender surrender spiritually surrender internally surrender physically and say i can't do nothing without you and i'm nobody without you but through you all things are possible and all means all all things are possible if we believe if we trust if we surrender if we listen and then if we obey right because we may want all these good amazing things that god has for us but we also have to take that step with him because we're co-creators with god we're a team he does we do we give ourselves he gives them he gives us himself which is everything i mean because god is everything so everything means your health money love peace joy anything you need he that he is everything and he wants to share his everything with us but we must surrender first every single day how does that look like for example for me i crucify my flesh every single morning for example i wake up at six in the morning with a group of other warrior prayer girls that i have in a group and a gentleman who's actually there too at six in the morning and let me tell you i am not a morning person i do not want to wake up at six in the morning i want to stay in my snugly cozy bed until the time i need to get up for work for example but i obligate my body my flesh to wake up to make sure that i have breakfast with him to make sure that i give my day to him then i go back to sleep like for an hour or so and then i go into my daily room my daily prayer room and then i read the word for the day that whatever i have going on and continue to pray i'm not saying that everybody has to do this i'm just saying what i'm trying to say is that i give my day i start my day i surrender my day with the lord every single day because it says in the word in the bible that we're soldiers for god which means we're in a war every single day have you ever seen a soldier go out with his gear without his sword without his weapons without his boots without his helmet you don't and if you do he's gonna die in a, in a minute in a second they're gonna take him away they're gonna take him out because he's not prepared so that's why we must put our spiritual armor every single day which is love which is peace, which is joy, which is kindness, which is goodness. The nine fruits of the spirit. Lord, love, joy, peace, kindness, self-control, faithfulness, goodness, gentleness. And we must put it on in Jesus' name. And remember that everything we do is to glorify God and in Jesus' name. Because we can't love on ourselves. We can't try to go help others in ourselves. We're going to get discouraged because this world is tough. But I'm telling you guys from experience that Papa God will give us supernatural peace, supernatural joy that will surpass human understanding. Just the way Philippines 4, 6, 7 says, do not worry about nothing, anything, nothing's nothing. Instead, go to him in prayer and petition leave it to him and then he will give us a supernatural peace that surpasses this surpasses any human understanding that's how i live every single day do i have a perfect days every day of course not do i have all good days every single day of course not but i know i know that i know that i know that i know that he's with me and that he's helping me and no matter what's going on he's right next to me he's inside me he's around me so he's 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 permitting whatever's going on to happen because he's with me if he's with us who can be against us guys no one and nothing no one and nothing 
no one and nothing that's just the way it is he's everything so ask holy spirit for help today if you're discouraged if you're dismayed if you're tired spiritually physically if you're afraid if you're lacking ask him he will come through i promise you he's amazing he's wonderful he's kind he's gentle and he wants to give you all that to so go then give to others so have an amazing amazing blessed day shalom friends bye to the next time